Welcome back, Physical Science 20. So this is uh, a simulator that we can use to look at a lot of the wave concepts we're talking about here uh, in terms of uh, constructive, destructive interference, etc. So if I look at this one, this is just simply making water waves we saw in the two dimensionals. I don't have a, a simulation showing um, one dimensional, but we can look at the water waves one. The one dimensional one is kind of easy to understand, realize waves you're making on a rope or a slinky. You can see how crest meeting crest meets makes constructive or trough meeting trough. Two-dimensional waves are a little more difficult to see. So there we can see uh, continuous water waves happening. If I increase the frequency, of course, it looks like that. So you'll notice what happens here. The wavelength decreases. So you can imagine the blue areas being crests. They are closer together. So let's look at uh, the interference patterns now that we were looking at previously. So if we pick interference, and again, if I look at uh, just water waves, first of all. There we go. So I have that increase the frequency so we can see the pattern a little bit better. So. Again, we'll imagine the blue parts being the crests. Maybe bring them a little closer together. So dropping stones in a water, in in a water, in water, uh, you can have blue meeting blue, which was constructive interference, crest meeting, or and also trough meeting trough. And notice what you see in this pattern though. You'll see something. Right here, you'll see this line here. Now that is a line in which we have crests meeting troughs and recall a crest meeting a trough results in a cancellation so if i have a crest that's let's say plus three units hitting a trough that's negative three that's going to result in zero and a complete cancellation is called a node and when you have a bunch of those node points and join them up you get a nodal line so these lines here that you see are areas of cancellation when these two patterns uh, interfere with each other. All right, might be easier to see with if I choose this instead, which as we'll see is light, which has similar behavior. Yes, we can definitely see it happening here. So where a crest meets a trough, you have cancellation. And in between there, uh, you have to imagine these, these bright green areas as constructive interference. So crest meeting crest and the black area is a trough meeting trough. So maximizations and then the lines represent minimizations. All right. Again, let's look at something else here. Let's so the, that'd be like dropping two stones in water. We also talked a little bit about slits. Let's take a look at slits. So if we take a look here, let's just look at water waves going through a slit. I'll maybe make, increase the frequency here. There we go. So notice, we have a little bit of bending around the corner here. It's not just we make a straight line going through here. You can see it getting bent as it moves around. Uh, notice here the distance between one blue from another is about, well, I can't show in here. I don't have a ruler, but it's a fairly large distance. And the slit width here is likely smaller than if you envision measuring between blue lines and then measuring the slit width, the slit width is less. So if I make the slit width even smaller, yes, we see major bending around here. When the wavelength is equal to or larger than the slit width, the rule of thumb there is that we get much bending around the corner. So it's, you can see it's almost bending all the way around here. Now, if I make the slit width bigger, such that the wavelength is small compared to the slit width. So notice here I increase the frequency which is going to make the wavelength smaller. So this distance here, and fortunately that's the largest, maybe I can make it, no I don't think I can make it any bigger. But we should see, and that's, that's not the greatest here, but there's not as much bending. Now you can see here that it's very faint over here. Uh, but for the most part, look how bright it is right here, indicating that uh, the majority of the bending is just happening in this region right here. There's a little bit of bending here, but the bright area is right there. 
Whereas if I compare it back to here, notice how it's bright in a larger region here. It may be easier to see it as this scenario here. Let's just take a look. So again, if I pick a uh, larger, a fairly big wavelength here, much bending, because it's a small slit width compared to, but here we have about the wavelength equaling the size of the slit width, much bending. But if I make the slit width really big, again, the bright region is right here. We can see faintly, slightly bending, but the bright region is here. Whereas here, the bright region is a little bit bigger. All right, so that is one uh, slit. Uh, and if we choose two slits, let's take a look at what happens here. You'll notice that it's a similar pattern to when we had just simply dropping two stones in water, right? It looks like we have two circle sources. If I make the slit separation small too, I get a very similar pattern to what I had previously. So straight waves passing through two slits has the same effect as if I, were, I was just making circular waves here at two point sources and they're interfering with each other. So again, you can see the uh, interference pattern here. We have constructive interference here where it's bright and where these cancellation regions are happening. That is the destructive region that's occurring there. All right, so that, that kind of gives you an idea of uh, what's happening there. So straight waves coming together and meeting that. So that's with two-dimensional waves. And we'll see a similar pattern with three-dimensional waves in terms of sound uh, a little bit later. Um, but yeah, so that uh, is a little simulation to show uh, exactly what's going on there in terms of interference, constructive and destructive, uh, whether it's from point sources or straight waves. Uh, the simulator doesn't show obstacles, but it's a similar, kind of a similar effect as, uh, or opposite effect as if we had slits. All right, we'll see you again.